Hello everybody, my name is Kelly from OneMoreInfo.com. Today I'm going to show you my first impression of the latest Windows OS, Windows 8. Um, this is a fresh setup, I haven't done anything yet. I'm running it on VMware as a virtual machine. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it has 10 gig um, storage, 1 gig RAM. Um, this is quite smooth, um, I think it's enough for the time being. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. So first of all, it shows a um, this panel. I believe it is a uh, some kind of notification panel um, with different colorful buttons over here, and I believe this is the um, like a control panel icon showing here. Um, Let's see, so I've changed the background color to yellow, which is my favorite, and I've also entered my email address so that they can syn synchronize my email here, I believe. Um, well, yeah, so weather is also here. Um, let's just try and click desktop. Okay, see, um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> it's, it's quite cold here. Well, um, this interface, I believe um, you're all quite familiar with this. Um, this is quite similar to Windows 7, but um, you can see that there's no st um, stop buttons on the top left corner. So once you click, this is a um, IE with a um, new interface here, which is quite neat. Um, I like it quite a lot. I don't use IE normally, so yeah, as you can see, um, this is pretty much quite similar to Windows Seven. Uh, let's try to go back to the um, the uh, notification panel. Well, I've when I'm installing, it told me that I can go to any corner to go back. See, okay, 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 okay. So it's bottom left corner to go to the start panel. There we go. Um, let's try weather. I'm not quite sure about this um, colorful thing of, of different app. It's quite attractive, but it's just not my type. Well, um, you can see I'm in um, England at the moment, 9 degree. Well, I like it quite a lot with this image here. Well, I'm using a Mac, so I can just scroll horizontally. But I believe if you if you have a like a normal mouse, it's quite hard to just scroll horizontally. I I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it. I I don't think it's a good idea to do horizontal, and it's it's just a bit um, unorganized. Okay, well, so, well, but so far so good. Mm. Let's try something else. Okay, well, when you, so you, when you go to the bottom right corner, you can also have this kind of um, small menu with search, uh, share, start devices, and settings. Let's see settings. Right, so this settings is under this weather app, so you can choose different things here and at the bottom it gives you I think this is the input method volume this one is probably yeah the brightness power to switch off network as my Wi-Fi notification high for eight three one hour well I think this is handy well, um, at least you can hide the notification for a period of time when you're doing something important or when you're sleeping so that nothing will bother you. Let's see options. It's just um, search history. Okay. Anyway, well, nothing much here. Let's try to go back to the notification menu. Um, let's try...
news. Ooh, quite like the first um pictures that they're giving is quite attractive, which gives the whole new experience to me. But I'm just I just don't like the whole horizontal scrolling thing. Anyway, um, let's go back here and try the uh, main settings. Start, which is unavailable, tiles, show administrative tools, blah blah blah, so, also nothing much here. Don't know what can I do with it. Okay, so once you click this um, bottom right, um, like a minus button, it will, it will minimize the whole thing. Let's try search. Okay, let's see. What can I search here? How about fragmentation? Why is it not available? Ah, oh, confusing. Because I see. Oh, okay. How do I search? Oh my god. Steve Frack. Okay, this is news search. I don't want that. Let's go back to the main start menu and try to search the fragmentation again. Okay. Okay, see, so whatever you try to do, I believe it will, apart from those uh, apps, it will direct you back to the main. Um, OS screen like this uh, familiar screen to you. Um, yes. Anyway, um, let's go to the store and see what do they have. Oops! What happened? Um, well, yeah, as you can see, you can download different apps as expected, which is quite good. Let's go and try to install Skype here. Ooh, see this new interface? Well, I'm using Mac, so um, <laughs> I think I'll get a bit excited with this uh, thing. And on, uh, so I'm installing Skype. I don't know why I have 15 updates here. I don't really have anything. Now nah, do it later. I'm not sure if I would. <laughs> I will use this uh, Windows 8 again anyway. Well, how do I go back again? This is kind of annoying. <sighs> yeah, to me, um, so this is my uh, review. Okay, well, let's try this if this is uh, completed. Ooh. This is good, like it allows apps to run at the back background. It kind of merged between a um, portable device and a um, like an OS system. I'm not gonna lock in here, sorry. I think it's a bad idea. Well, anyway, um, this is my review. Hope you like it. Um, well, I think I think it's a nice interview. It gives it really will give you a whole new experience. But everything is hard to find. Like you just 
it's not easy to access to anything, even to find a thing to click. I mean, there are things here, but not everything. And when you need to do something, and then it will jump back to the main OS. So, I don't know, I'm just... I get kind of confused using the new OS here, but... Yeah, I don't know, leave your comment and let me know what you think. And um, thank you for watching, and please go and visit the, uh, onemoreinfo.com. Um, yeah, thank you very much.